Hey guys, good afternoon. It is actually early evening. I have not vlogged all day because my allergies have been kicking my butt all day today. I've been sneezing galore, runny nose, stuffy nose, just like, oh, pressure in my face. Good old allergies, man. Um, I'm just kicking my butt. So honestly, I just, I haven't done much of anything i was studying this morning i did a case study so i was at my desk for a good portion of the day but um other than that we've done, done nothing because i just don't feel up to it i have a lot of pressure built up and you know same old same old with allergies i finally had a breakdown and take an allergy pill i hate taking allergy pills even if they're non-drowsy they make me a little drowsy and so i really don't i just like taking them but it just was time. I, I literally couldn't even do anything. I was sitting at my desk like you guys have seen me before my, when my allergies are really bad with tissues stuffed up my nose. That's how I've been all day and I've just been rotating the tissues. So I'm trying to wait for everything to kind of dry up. I didn't want to be super annoying on the camera and like having to edit a whole bunch out and with the sneezing and everything. So anyway, uh, it is early dinner time. Uh, we actually, I saw somebody recommended on Facebook. And I've been trying to support local small businesses where whenever um, we can, it doesn't happen always because when we do eat out, which just hasn't been more frequently than once a week, once every two weeks, we usually eat out at some sort of restaurant or whatever, but our fast food, but I've been trying to support local where we can and there's a Hawaiian slash Filipino food stand that has family platters. Um, I think it, I think it's $45 is what her special was and it's like teriyaki chicken, panse, lumpia, um, rice and all the fixings and stuff with it and it was like in two large tins like family style. So we're gonna go pick up that. I placed an order yesterday we're gonna go pick up that for dinner tonight and that's what we are having um 45 dollars for all of us to eat is really reasonable especially when it's like a good meal we can easily go to a fast food restaurant especially if it's somewhere where we're not ordering from like the dollar menu or getting the kids just a kid's meal or something um we can easily run into the 35 38 dollar range for fast food so 45 bucks for a family style good meal i'm so excited i love lumpia oh my gosh some of my best friends growing up were their parents were filipino and um or one of their i think both of them were actually mixed one of their mom was filipino and i think hold on i think her yeah her dad was caucasian and then her cousin her mom was filipino and her dad was black so they they were both mixed but oh my gosh their food when we would go for dinner and stuff when i would go spend the night and have dinner or whatever i loved loved that culture and food so um yeah i'm excited to have some lumpia we'll see how good it is of course i don't know authentic from non-authentic so <laughs> if you had food from but I think this lady is Filipino. She's Phil she's Filipina, I'm assuming, because her, or maybe she's mixed. I'm gonna ask her, because her food is Hawaiian. It's, what is it? She called it something blend. It's Hawaiian and Fil Filipino blend. Anyway, I'll let you guys know, and I'll show you when we get it. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Mommy, I know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> girl's pasta. This is called lumpia. Ah, looks lumpia. like egg roll. Teriyaki chicken. And is this ponce? I don't know. And um, rice. rice. Yum. Looks good. You, you want some lupia? Looks good, huh? Yeah. Too. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today we are expecting pretty bad weather. My thoughts and prayers are with you guys that are directly affected by Hannah. I know pretty much anybody in the Gulf is being affected by it. And um, yeah, so we don't have to take any precautions like you guys do, but it's a, we're supposed to have pretty bad weather all weekend on and off. So Andres is taking out down the canopy. We're gonna clean up the backyard, get the floats and stuff put away, the goggles, all the towels and stuff we have hanging up over there and that have fallen to the floor. So we're gonna get all that done. 
<laughs> Hi, Mama. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty quick. He just he put the canopy up on carabiners, so it's really quick to just take down. But definitely, if you're expecting high winds and stuff, it's we have it anchored to the fence in the back and to the patio, which is safe. But then we also have it anchored to that. Uh, I think it's a two by four up there. Um, and so those things you really don't want this heavy of something like up and down up and down on it so anyway he's doing that probably shouldn't take us more than 10 or 15 minutes to get the backyard kind of set up for this weather and then i'm gonna let the girls play for a bit because since we are expecting bad weather all weekend they'll be stuck inside and you can already hear the wind starting to pick up and they need to burn off some energy. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I finished up last night. I didn't even finish studying. I literally sneezed. I mean studying filming because I literally sneezed all night long. I just could not stop. My eyes were super. I mean my eyes are kind of swollen today. They feel puffy. I was super swollen i was using tissue after tissue it just was not a good vlogging day nothing that you guys really care to see i'm sure so i just called it a vlog after dinner dinner was delicious i was so surprised that i cut myself off i'm really proud of myself for actually doing it i lost a pound this week so i'm really happy with that um and that was after having like a a little treat last night having the filipino food i ended up having three of the lumpia which you could tell were delicious and deep fried so because of that they um were extra points so i went over my points a little bit yesterday and i had gone over them last weekend so yeah i'm proud of myself for losing a pound this week i think honestly and i'm happy with a pound a week i always look at it like this like anywhere from even half a pound to a pound to a pound and a half I'm good with because throughout an entire year like this time next year that's 50 to 60 oh, anywhere from like 40 to 60 pounds gone and without me having to do much besides just watch what I eat here and there I've still had treats throughout the week you know it's been good so I'm really happy I've been doing the Weight Watchers blue plan if you guys know I have a link down below if you're interested in Weight Watchers I've had a bunch of you email me about it message me about it um, the link gets you $10. No, I'm sorry. The link gets you one free month. Um, so yeah, I have it if you're interested. Don't feel obligated to sign up under me or anything like that. Um, I'm not an ambassador. I'm not anyone. They don't even know who I am. I just have the link if you want it there for you guys. So yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> no teeth for this little girl yet. None. I'm so shocked. That she literally doesn't have any not even like a tooth poking through her bottom gums i cannot believe it. she's pulling the camera <laughs> no mommy give to mama thank you thank you pretty girl ah thank you <laughs> so she's been teething so much drooling left and right and just nada nada both the other girls had bottom teeth by this age so she just doesn't have much of anything um anyway that's what our plan is for today just chilling inside We're going to get some housework done since it's going to be a dreary day and um yeah go with the weekend i have another test tomorrow a quiz whatever so i've been studying on and off for that i finished my case studies and my discussion board already the last few days and i've been studying on and off and i'll study on and off today and tomorrow I take my quiz and then i only have one week left of this class insane so that's what the plan what are you doing my pretty girl what are you doing what are you doing mama also i wanted to share this with you guys i got it in yesterday and again just wasn't up to like super filming so i've seen a lot of fridge storage over the last few days these vanilla these yogurts are in the way um over the last few weeks that i've really been wanting to like change up our fridge because especially when we have a lot of food I feel like things get hidden and cluttered and whatnot so um yeah I bought a lazy susan off of amazon very reasonably priced this is the 12 inch one I have a bunch of stuff on it that was just sitting back here in the fridge that was like getting lost and all that good stuff I honestly wish I had bought the 18 inch one the 18 inch one would have been better out this way um but not necessarily out this way because it would have gone all the way over here and it would have crossed over this hump 
So I don't know how well it would have worked out. Um, now that I'm seeing what the base looks like, I may order the 18 inch and just see because the base is a lot smaller than the actual round part and the 18 inch, the base probably wouldn't go out further than like here. So yeah, we'll see. And then we just have these yogurts. So that's kind of why I should have got the 18 inch one. It would have fit more, but I just have these big yogurts that I don't have anywhere else to put them right now. Once the eggs go in the egg container, I just don't have, I only have two dozen, so I don't have enough room for all of them yet. Um, the fridge will be a lot more open, but yeah, so anyway, I thought I would share that little new thing that I got from Amazon. Girls are having some lunch. I just got done painting some paintings and doing dance. Well, not dance, dance. What is it? Uh, just dance. So Autumn, Maddie, and Emmy. I'm heating up some leftovers for my first meal today. And we full, well, I did while they were dancing folded some clothes um, at release. I'm just waiting for those to kind of dry out a little bit. I'm gonna put those away and then that's Autumn's clothes. What's wrong, Mama? You need a little snack. Everly. Everly. You need a little snack, Mama. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yay. I was literally just about to take them outside. Like, we opened the garage to come out and play and it's raining. Ah, it's getting me. Bummer. I put my basil plant out there though so that I could get some good water. Darn, the neighbor was barbecuing. He must have finished before it started raining. He was out there barbecuing. Yeah, it's raining hard. The pool will get some water. weather that we've had it actually still looks like it's gonna rain again but there's no lightning it's just uh, it's a little windy so the girls are swimming for 30 45 minutes until yeah it acts so weird it looks a lot bigger without the the thing but they're swimming for a little while until the weather gets bad again hi is it cold feels good I threw it too far. The sun keeps coming in and out, in and out, so that's kind of helping with the heat, um, keeping them not too, too cold. Whoa. But yeah, if it gets too, it's not. If it gets too crazy, then they'll get out. And actually, right now, the sun's already set a little bit, so this tree behind us is covering most of the pool, so they're not getting any sun, which is cool. I'm gonna get my basil plant out of here. I think it got enough rainwater for today. I don't want it to drown. Lola's hating her inside life. <laughs> Poor thing. We need to get her a catio or something. She wants to come outside so bad. Anyway, I thought I would share with you guys the mini fridge that I showed the other day. Um, New Air was awesome enough to gift it for us. It is actually a beer froster fridge, so it gets super, super, super cold. It's for 46 cans of beer, soda, whatever really you want to put in it. We don't have any alcoholic beverages out here because the girls do come out here to play without us, and I don't want a little accident or anything to happen them thinking the big girls know better but just in case so we have capri suns in here the honest juices some coke zeros the sparkling waters the girls really like those and some bottled water 
and yeah it's been the perfect little addition to our outside oasis we have it on just a piece of wood that this this is actually what emmy and i moved over there if you guys remember a while back we chopped it down on the rest had it over the pool filter for a little while it wasn't working so he moved it over here and it's perfect for our little new air fridge they actually gave me a coupon code for you guys i will list it here and link this exact fridge down below for you guys they have a whole bunch of different options they have really cool ice makers that i really would like to get you guys know we've had we have this awesome fridge but the ice maker has been broken in it for so long and we haven't been able to find anyone that knows how to come out and fix it and Frankly, the fridge was just too expensive. Hi, baby, to um, replace it just because of the ice maker. So I've been looking at some of their ice makers. They have a lot of super cool products. They have so many other options on their website. They have a larger fridge. This one, like I said, is the um, 46 count can, but they have the 90 count, 120. They have a larger one that you can put just wine in. So many different options. They have a ton of, like I said, uh, cool ice makers, chests, and different things. And these are all indoor, outdoor. You could use these in the indoor, and they're perfectly safe on an outdoor basis. We've had ours out here for weeks, and it's been totally fine. Everything gets nice, frosty. It's super cold in here. It makes everything really chill. And so very awesome addition to our outside little backyard oasis thank you so much to newer for sending it to us i will link everything down below for you guys along with that coupon code if you're interested cut my basil from my one basil garden or my one plant garden uh and some tomatoes i use it the rest of my feta cheese some balsamic glaze extra virgin olive oil and garlic and tada bruschetta we have a problem <laughs> Trying on the mask that Melissa made all of us. And the light is flashing. That's annoying. So here we are in the bathroom. I'm just curious how it uh, was going to fit. So it fits really nicely. She made one for each of us. I really like it because I can talk and I don't I don't feel like it's like caving in on me. Which is what the black one felt like it was. And this is a really pretty print. I think she's selling them if you're interested. Let me know. Looking a little fabulous today <laughs> in my sports bra and workout gear. Didn't even work out. But I'm going to Ross because I saw that there were Hello Kitty masks and I would like a Hello Kitty mask. I didn't actually find what I was looking for, but I found a whole bunch of other Okay, my Ross stuff that I got, a uh, two cup measuring, like a glass measuring cup. I only have a one cup. These cutting boards because I really like them, so I picked up another set. This one is a little bit more colorful. So we're gonna wash those up. I got some grip stuff for the drawers and then over here I picked up a table runner and a centerpiece. Also some little click connect toys. I know I look a little bit crazy. I'm taking my nail polish off for uh, a video which should be up for you guys already showing you how I remove my nail polish, clean up my nails, and apply a new set of nails. So today I'm gonna to be doing the Are You Madriding Me, which is a hot pink, it's like a fuchsia hot pink, and uh, Dripping in Diamonds, which is a silver glitter. Very reminiscent to Florence Fizz, if you've seen that one, very similar. So I'm going to do that for my nails, and yeah, this nail polish is pretty gnarly this time around. <laughs> it is a beast to get off. So I'm just gonna do this. I had no vlog to edit. I meant to do my nails earlier and I just got caught up with all the things. The girls did so much today. Sorry if this is <laughs> aggravating anybody. They did so many like, cute activities today and I just was all around the house. So I didn't film a ton of what they did but um, they painted pictures because we didn't they ended up going swimming but it rained on and off three times today and it poured each and every time so it kind of kept the grass and like the outdoors wet most of the day even though it didn't keep raining it just kept everything kind of moist so they ended up going swimming for about an hour before dinner which was cool um but they ended they painted today they made slime they played the nintendo switch they wanted to um, do sand art, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> We've already done a whole bunch of activities today. I said, let's just do the sand art tomorrow. 
So yeah, they have that sand art sitting out there because they, you know they won't let me forget that, which is good. I bought all that stuff. Actually, the sand art was out there. I think one of them got it for their birthday, so it had been out there a little while, but um, I bought all that stuff for them to do to actually use, like that whole bin of stuff for them to use, and they're finally going through it, which is awesome because once we get back to school, even though we're gonna be staying home and distance learning, they'll still have a lot to do throughout the day that a quick swim or a quick bike ride or whatever will keep them confined. Um, now I just feel like nothing's keeping them busy. They've already watched all their favorite shows and read all their favorite books. Emmy's gone through um, the Harry Potter series again and she's already on book six. Six, is that what she took from? the cabinet five or six I don't know and she just started reading them again like maybe three weeks ago and she hasn't hasn't even been reading them all day it's just like during quiet time or before bed or whatever so yeah <laughs> now we're gonna have to do the movie series but that just tells you how bored they've been to like read books and not even care really about electronics much anymore because they've been doing it all all of it so anyway um yeah that's what we have planned tomorrow but today so i went to ross kind of while they were when the dress was finishing up their swimming they had just gotten out to dry and stuff never found the hello kitty mask but i did find that stuff that i showed you my battery was dying so i, I got a um a centerpiece and a runner a measuring cup, a little toy for Everly, some cutting boards, and then the the foam mat for underneath the silverware drawer. Oh my gosh, so much better. So much better. The knife thing and everything was like falling forward. I hated it. So that's awesome. Now I have extra if I need it. It's like shelf liner. Um, and then what? That was it. We watched um, the challenge, the reunion and I, like I said, didn't have anything to edit because what I filmed yesterday was very minimal. And so I just studied for another hour or so. Went over some more of the lectures and stuff. So tomorrow I have probably about two to three more hours of studying and then I'll be ready to take my quiz. So um, yeah, I just figured before bed I would try and bust out my nails even though I actually, I know this is so strange. It works very efficiently though. Um, even though I'm tired and it's almost midnight. Oh, it's 11.30, I probably should just go to bed. I'm not, I'm going to film this video for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna call the vlog for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.